So this week we are going to concentrate on a BBC Good Foods recipe called Sticky Chinese Chicken Tray Bake. And we're going to start by creating the sauce first. So what you will need is four tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two teaspoons of sesame seed oil, two tablespoons of clear honey, one and a half teaspoons of Chinese five spice powder, only a thumb of fresh garlic, okay? Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> and two cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna start this sauce by grounding some of this ginger, a thumb's worth of ginger, and adding my two cloves of garlic. So here I have my chicken thighs. They have the skin on and they have the bone in. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them all out and we're just going to try and get through the top layer of skin. We're going to score them. Scoring is where you take your knife, your very, very sharp knife, and you just draw little lines across the chicken in the hope of creating an entryway for our flavoursome sauce that we're going to put on ice on the top of our chicken. There we go. So, I'm hoping that those of you can see, you can see that they all have been scored just down to the level of the skin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our sauce which we've made earlier. So I'm just going to pour that yummy sauce all the way in and then I'm going to cover them. I'm going to get my hands nice and dirty and we're going to cover all of this chicken with all of this sauce. And once they're all covered, all the way round, get them nice and, and, and hoisiny and mucky and yummy and sticky basically, sticky. And then we are going to put them in the fridge to marinate for a couple of hours. So my pan oven is on at 180 degrees. We are going to cook this for 35 minutes. So at the moment I only have my chicken that has been marinating. Now I have put my chicken into two different bowls and this is just to make sure that all of the chicken is covered. Halfway through the 35 minutes, we're gonna baste them. Now basting, all that really means is that we're gonna take up some of the juice from the bottom of our casserole dishes and then we're gonna re-pour it all over our chicken, okay? So here we go. Open up the oven now. Oh, feel the heat. <laughs> I'm going to put this one at the top. No way. There we go. Thank you, Mum. Oh, there we go. Push that one in. And then, and then put the other one underneath it. Put the other one underneath. There we go. And pull this to the middle again. There we go. So for the next step, I have 50 grams of cashew nuts. Now I am going to dry fry these cashew nuts because it's the best way to toast cashew nuts. And then once we've done that, we're then going to be able to sprinkle it over our meal. And I have my bunch of spring onions here that I am now going to cut into small slices so that I can then like not drizzle them but just sprinkle them over the top of the meal uh, to then cook the last section in the oven. When cashew nuts are toasted they're brown. So now I am going to cook my meal with some brown rice. So what I've done is I have taken some water, 
put it onto the boil, I've added some salt because it makes the water boil quicker. Okay, I'm a little embarrassed because that is totally wrong. The salt in the water heightens the boiling point of the water and it's heat that is needed to cook something quickly, which is why we heighten the boiling point because the higher the boiling point, the quicker the food will cook. It's 80 grams per person of brown rice. So there we go. In goes the brown rice. And in on goes the lid, and we just wait for that to cook. About 25 minutes? About 25 minutes. <laughs> so I have taken out the food. As you can see, it's nice and bubbly and it's yummy. And I am going to half my cashew nuts and half my spring onions. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and evenly cover this meal with these cashew nuts and these spring onions. And that's all I'm going to do and then I'm going to put them back into the oven for a couple of minutes to, to finish off. There we go. Okay. The rest of these into this one. And I'm sure my mum can help me find out whether they are evenly spread. Good enough, John Blood. Okay. That does make me happy. That really does make me happy. So we will have a nice crunch from the spring from the spring onions and the cashew nuts. There we go. Voila, there is our food fully done on the plate with the rice underneath, the chicken on the top, and the cashew nuts decorating the top.